I'm Nathan with this week's science and tech news. Ever wanted to strap your iPhone to your wrist? Then get ready for the Apple Watch, a wearable smartwatch that's releasing this week. Ever since Apple co-founder Steve Jobs revolutionized music with the iPod in 2001, smartphones with the iPhone in 2007, and tablets with the iPad in 2010, the company has been on a roll. Jobs may have passed away in 2011, but that hasn't stopped Apple from trying to conquer futuristic technology, and it recently became the first company to reach $700 billion in value. Now, with smartwatches and other wearable technology on the rise, the Apple Watch is looking to dominate the market. The watch has a starting price of $349, and it comes with high-tech features like apps, a heart rate monitor, GPS, and a touchscreen. This effort is already better than when Apple tried to introduce wearables in the 1980s. If you happen to be a millionaire, some Apple Watches are selling for upwards of $100,000, with sparkly diamonds and blinktastic gold. It's the 45th anniversary of NASA's dangerous Apollo 13 mission, which blasted off on April 11, 1970 for a lunar landing before turning into a dramatic battle for survival. Two days after it took off, an oxygen tank exploded, causing major damage to the rocket. The astronaut survived limited power, loss of cabin heat, a lack of water, and minimal oxygen in a dangerous journey back to Earth. But they all made it safely on April 17th. The event later inspired the 1995 movie, Apollo 13, which starred Tom Hanks and Kevin Bacon. So far, the USA has completed six manned moon landings, starting with the Apollo 11 mission, which was the first time humans ever landed on the moon. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first people to walk the lunar surface on July 20th, 1969. And the USA is still the only country to this day to have pulled off lunar landings. Hello, Houston. This is Odyssey. It's good to see you again. Unconfirmed reports claim that a Soviet cow once jumped over the moon with the help of a fiddle-playing cat, a runaway dish, and a missing spoon. And conspiracy theorists claim this is the source of the nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle. Is Little Miss Muffet also involved? Now, NASA is looking to explore the next frontier, Mars, where the Curiosity rover recently found evidence of liquid water. Since water is one of the main ingredients needed for life to evolve, this discovery just might be one step away from identifying Martian life. You know, aliens. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, even Marvin the Martian would have trouble staying alive at night on Mars, where it reaches negative 100 to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, the discovery that water can exist as a liquid near the Martian surface provides a possible explanation for mysterious dark streaks seen on crater walls. Scientists also believe that living organisms could potentially survive beneath the surface of Mars, where they'd be safe from the cold and damaging levels of cosmic radiation. Sounds like the perfect recipe for space gophers. Scientists plan to unearth 65 million years of history by digging 5,000 feet beneath Mexico into the Chicxulub crater, which was left behind by the dino-killing asteroid. Not all scientists agree on the dino extinction event, since some believe that it could have been caused by a frigid ice age, disease, competition from other animals, or oh. massive volcanic activity. There's also a less widely accepted theory that a time-traveling Justin Bieber made the dinosaurs go extinct with a live concert. The very least, most scientists agree that changes in the environment are to blame. The six-mile-wide asteroid that struck just off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula would definitely have triggered global changes. And scientists believe it also caused 70% of all animal life on Earth to die out, not just our dinosaur friends. The 125-mile-wide crater was discovered in the 1970s, and scientists will be drilling into this doomsday scar to better understand its history. Let's just hope they don't wake up some ancient slumbering beast, or we'll end up with something like Godzilla or Miley Cyrus. You know what else made an awesome dinosaur discovery? A four-year-old boy from Texas recently found a 100-million-year-old fossil. Wiley Burrs and his dad Tim were hunting for fossilized fish in Mansfield, Texas, when they came across a three-inch long piece of rib bone. It turned out to be part of a notosaur, which is a pony-sized dino with armored plates. You know, just the right size for a prehistoric petting zoo. Wiley, Coyote, Burrs hoped that the next find would be a pile of Roadrunner bones. Uh, me, me. 
Meep, meep.